All right, y'all, so we are back with another VV and Mikomi video, and this one will be focusing on the Omi token. We're gonna be talking about a very serious topic, and essentially, it's if it's time to stop giving the team the benefit of the doubt, if it's time to just dump all the tokens, dump all the collectibles, blah, 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 all of this, because the, the conversation has just been roaring. It's, it's been very big in the community. Obviously, the community is divided right now. You have the people who have this undying faith in the team, you have people who are questioning it. You have people like myself who's in the middle and I don't actually care which one happens. I just don't want people to be hurt. On the side where the the team continues to not communicate well, continues to make mistakes and all of this stuff, I don't want innocent people to constantly keep getting hurt. I'm, I'm personally in a position where if the project blows up, I can profit from that. I make some good profits from that. But if it fails and completely goes to zero, I pretty much I'm, una, I'm unaffected by that. So I'm in a win-win situation here, which is so it's easier for me to not really have a bias towards any direction and really just look at it for what it is. Realistically, I said it already, like VV, any competition has attempted to do what VV is doing, any competition who has attempted it has closed down. They failed, they failed miserably. They have not been able to accomplish what VV has been able to accomplish. I also think that they're taking on an impossible task where there was no blueprint on how to properly do this. And then a blueprint can't even really be written because the regulations are not all set in stone. Regulations change on a monthly basis. Regulations is constantly changing. So you could be very, very sure and very positive on an idea today when it comes down to the token. And then by next month, some new regulation pops up and now that you have to scrap everything. But the problem that I have with the team is that instead of telling the community, Yo, it doesn't make sense for us to sit here and come up with a whole plan within the next three months that that plan could have to be completely tossed based on regulations. Instead of them just coming out and saying that, like, it doesn't make sense to work on a token, we're gonna postpone the effort on the token. We know this isn't what you want to hear, but it does not make sense for us to keep putting effort and man hours towards this token right now when regulations is going to determine what we can do and we just, you know, they can't just come out and say certain things. So now we have to wonder, are they not talking because they're trying to get rid of the OMI token? Do they not need the OMI token? Do they care about the OMI token? Now there's just a bunch of speculation that starts to run rampant. I believe that, I believe in the project. I believe that if you believe in the project and you want to hold this token and you want to hold the collectibles, what someone says shouldn't actually matter to you. Um, you, you have your own reasons, you have your convictions. As long as you're not putting yourself at risk, as long as you're not risking your own security and your family security nothing else really matters just mitigate your risk make sure that if you win you can win big if you lose the the hit that you take from losing is not going to be that bad as long as you practice proper investing strategies and don't be greedy you'll be fine like i don't see people who make such a big deal like who sit around complaining about this project all day guess what they lost big or they're they're just egotistical guys who make money in other places and just like to harass the community because they get the they get attention some people are attention whores other people are just over invested and need to constantly over invested and hurt like a lot of people are hurt a lot of people was expecting this to be their meal ticket and stuff like that so now they're dedicated to this project in terms of haters being haters now but the one thing that is consistent the one thing that you have to admit is this project gets people to be attached to it. And that's because it is a very valuable project. It, it does have some potential. The thing is, we don't know if it's going to actually live up to some of the things that they've promised, which that's not in itself a, a, a horrible thing, but at this point in time, we just don't know what this project is even going to become. So that's why when people was arguing about the the the, uh, the interviewer talking about what is, what is VV even going to be and stuff like that, that's a very good question. We don't know what it's going to be because that's determined by regulations. We don't even know what it can be. We don't even know what, you know, we don't know the extent to what they, because not only is the OMI token something that they, you know, the regulations is coming around, NFTs in, themsel in and of themselves are also something that's going to be regulated, something that's being regulated. So they were talking about how the NFTs, those tokens as well, that there was, there's things that they got to keep up with when it comes to those tokens also. So it's a lot of moving pieces with a project like, like this. And I think that when it comes down to actually having conviction in this project, you have to figure out if you're willing to stick it through and, and stand by the team and trust them. 
Now, that doesn't mean blindly sit here and go along with every single thing they say, every single thing they do. I am, I've always been 100% for the team. I've been on the side of the team from the jump, but I am always going to speak on the negatives because it's the only thing that helps someone improve. Like, it's the only thing. I've been a terrible person at points in my life. I've been a person who, who was so self-absorbed, egotistical. I've been all types of shit. And if somebody's just talking trash to me, I never heard it. But when it when you take the time to actually hear the criticisms, think about all the stuff that people have said, think like really analyze what's real, what's fake. Like that's why at this point, when people are talking, when people are saying certain things, honestly, in the past, I would just lash out at people very egotistical. And but nowadays I see myself reading stuff and I realize, oh, this person has never even heard my perspective, yet they're disagreeing with it. Not worth me talking to. That person don't know my perspective at all. What is this ain't worth my response? It's like you see things completely different as you grow and as you decide to look at things differently, as you as you mature when it comes down to your investing habits, the way that you approach things. Cause at the end of the day, you, you can tell who's over leveraged, you can tell who's too too wrapped up in the project who's too dependent on the project like it doesn't even matter somebody's net worth either like it doesn't matter like I, I know i was mean about it i was an asshole about it at one point but come on my guy like certain people who only talk positive about the project are tied up in lawsuits about it like i mean you know somebody if, if you're in a lawsuit about a project because of you know like you, you spent too much on it or you didn't feel like you got the value for your money or whatever like like, come on now. You 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 were you you've gone super super hard and jumped in deep with this project. And it's a lot of uncertainty surrounded that surrounding that. You should never invest more than you're willing to lose. You should never over invest. It doesn't matter how much of a sure thing you think something is. And a lot of people jumped into this project over investing. And you have people like and, and one of the biggest influencers has put uh, such a huge amount of their net worth into this project it's crazy and that is what people are looking at that is what people you know kind of look up to when it comes down to really being safe and really not having to care really being carefree when it comes down to investing in this project whether it's going to succeed or fail and when it really doesn't matter is invest what you're willing to lose that will not hurt you because you can then get some returns if it blows up and if it doesn't blow up, it doesn't really matter anyway. Like, so let's say you have a bad habit. Let's say you like to buy liquor. Let's say you like to buy liquor. Like, replace that with a good habit. Okay, I'm going to go without liquor for a month. So all the money I was going to use to buy some liquor, I'm going to go and put that on the Omi token. You don't care because you was going to drink that money away anyway. So now if you lose 100% of that, it was just going to go in your stomach anyway. So who actually gives a shit? So now, because you only spent your liquor money on it, and all you had to sacrifice was one month of drinking, now you can literally, you're fine. You're fine no matter what happens. You're fine if, if it blows up, you're gonna, get a, you're gonna get some money in your pocket. If it goes to zero, oh well, you was gonna drink it away anyway, so at least you got something. Like, I mean, well, at least it's not that bad. You know, it's like, it's all about perspective. It's all about how you look at things. People who are over invested, attacking everybody who who criticizes it. These people are scared. These people, these people are trying to convince themselves. This is why they have to talk to the community, get in these groups, and have people co-signing the things that they're saying. Like, yeah, yeah, I see that too. I feel the same way. Like, I've never needed somebody to say, yeah, Vel, I see the same thing that you see. As soon as I see something, that's enough for me. That's all that matters. I'm not investing my money based on no other man. At the point where another man is putting some money in my pocket for me to invest, okay, your input now matters to me. What's up? What we doing? Like, you helped me out, so what we doing? Until a man puts some money in my pocket, we ain't got nothing to talk about. It's cool. You got your opinion, I got mine. That's perfectly fine. But I don't need to be co-signed by nobody because I'm the one taking this risk. That means if I'm too stupid to understand something, then I'm not jumping into it. It ain't got nothing to do with your level of understanding. If I don't understand how I'm going to get my money out, it's a dumb investment for me. So you have to understand what works for you. You you can't be moving based off of other people. Don't, don't sit here and dump the token. Don't sit here and buy the token off of what someone else does. This, I'm not a financial advisor, but don't, don't sit here and follow and listen to other people. 
You have to do what's best for you and your family because you're the only one who cares about you and your family. You're the only one who's going to look out for y'all, man. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to talk a little bit about the OMI token. I do believe that there's value in it. I do believe that it's going to be used. I, I do believe that they're just in a space right now where it's going to take some time to even figure out what legal use cases they could have. It's going to take some time for them to figure a lot of things out. So I don't see any changes happening anytime soon. And what's going to happen is you're going to be brought down. You're going to be, your, your spirits are going to be, you know, tested by people who's going to compare the OMI token to other projects. Not like, because people only spend a narrative that they want to spend. So we can talk about how it's not on any exchange, which uh, something should have been said about why it's not on any exchange. Like that, that is what makes this project look sketch. Why has nothing been said about that? Why is nothing being talked about uh, when it comes down to that? But at the end of the day, they are slowly starting to add some utility to the token. So it does show signal some intent on them actually including this token and making it a valuable part of the ecosystem. Maybe not as valuable as we all thought, or at least maybe not right now at this current point in time, but it shows that their intentions are to figure out how to get that working with, with, um, with the project. So yeah. <clears throat> there we have it y'all that's pretty much it that's what i wanted to talk about in this video let me know what you all think let me know your thoughts and opinions on the token have you fully given up on it me personally i like i said i'm not in so deep where it actually matters it's not that deep to me um and i i i would say i would recommend everyone to be in a position where win or lose it's not going to be that bad it doesn't really matter that's the best way you can make the best decisions like when you can take emotion out of it and you don't have to care that's when you can make the best decisions, man. So, yeah, that being said, y'all, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.